guys so i want to walk you through how i process my nigerian food stuff to the uk but first of all let's start with this very emotional moment where my baby did not believe i was going to come back to Korea. oh my god like i was crying all through the flight because when i remember her tears man it was really really quite emotional for me so let's get started but before i get started if you're not following me why not please subscribe okay and let's build a family together so i'm starting from palm oil yeah this is the best way to travel with palm oil okay so i use this ziploc bag and then i refrigerated this palm oil for one week straight i'm not even playing one week straight okay so after that i wrapped it in a very thick towel and put right inside my clothes bag the thing is whenever you're traveling right they don't always set the clothes bag they hardly hardly set the clothes bag unless the clothes bag is showing any sign of you carrying a contraband but if it's just normal clothes and no much liquid in the clothes bag they don't check it but what what they will pour down and search thoroughly is your food bag so even if you refrigerate this palm oil don't put it in your food bag because at the airport they'll pick it out okay so let's get to the leaves so for this video i'm just picking out the things that are always hard to process or hard to travel with okay or hard to store so yeah let's go to the leaves so for the leaves i have afang leaves i travel with ugu that's the pumpkin leaf and then hot leaf and then scent leaf and i attempted to travel with water leaves but guys water leaf did not work oh. as i was drying the water leaf they were melting so what i did was just to pluck the leaves yes i washed it before drying the thing is they say if you don't wash it and then you dry it dries better but when leaves are dried trust me it's so hard to pick out the sand from them like even if you soak it inside water it's hard for the sand to just all fall off from the leaves so don't be scared go ahead and wash your leaves so i went ahead to wash my leaves so this one particularly is hot leaf i think this one dried the best but the color changed because this leaf have a lot of iron it contains lots of iron even if you're using this leaf to cook food when it's fresh it changes the color of the soup like you need plenty palm oil when you're cooking and this is my ugu leaves my pumpkin leaf guys i washed this leaf generously i didn't even bother to check if it was going to work out or not like if it was going to dry out or not and then i proceeded to cut these leaves we use one full day to cut the leaf i don't think i showed all the leaves in this video because the leaves were much there were plenty guys the leaves plenty so i started cutting the leaves so this is water leaves i cut these leaves and i dried it i think i'll show you in the video how it turned out guys the water leaf did not work don't even bother yourself the water component of this leaf is too much it's not called water leaf for no reason so that's the water leaf i spread it out so for all the leaves i started out by drying it out first on that shade i dried it at my balcony on that shade so this is the water leaf see how it is now it was just melting but see the vegetable the pumpkin leaf as in the ugu see how fresh it was still looking yeah so i dried it first in the balcony yeah this is the hot leaf see it was already changing color but it was drying out well though it was changing color because of the iron like i said and this is scent leaf you all know scent leaf you don't need to cut scent leaf okay when it's dried you can just use your hand to just squeeze it squeeze it squeeze it and it will just pieces inside your food and this is the odogu itself afang leaves so this one dried very easily it didn't even give me any issues okay so i dried this at the balcony for i think two days this is how they were looking and then after then when the leaves were dried and most of the liquid from the leaves were off that was when i took it to the sun if you take the leaf to the sun directly from the very first day when they still have water i don't think they'll dry out well okay because the last time i tried it the leaves came out very very black but see this ones now the afangs were dried see how green they were still looking they were still looking very very green okay so that was it so i dried this leaf for approximately three days three days to when i was to travel 
okay three days to when i was to travel that was when i started drying these leaves and they came out really really nice that's the pumpkin the vegetable the ugu see how dried and crunchy it's looking it was looking very very green okay so then when you travel and you get over there you have to once in a while bring these leaves out to dry so that moisture will not enter into the leaves and guys that was it for this video thank you for watching